people don't really understand it until you actually see it coming at you in a wall of flame. Climate change spikes it, it enhances it, it turns extreme fire danger into catastrophic fire. Catastrophic danger. bushfires. Everything is so dry here and it's been drying out for, you know, two years. That Australia should be doing more to reduce climate changing carbon emissions. There is a powerful storm slamming into eastern India. Is climate change making hurricanes worse? And we begin with the relentless threat from Hurricane Dorian. The vast and lethal calling card of Cyclone Idai. Um, there's some talk about potentially raising the hurricane category scale to include a six so for stronger winds. So Cyclone Kenneth hits the northern coast of the country. It's the second major cyclone to hit Mozambique in six weeks. Climate scientists have been warning the world for decades that man-made climate change would do two things. It would mean that hurricanes and cyclones would become more and more intense and that therefore some of the people with the world's smallest carbon footprints would pay the heaviest price. When there's a hurricane, when there's a wildfire, climate change often comes up. Much of eastern Africa received little or no rainfall in the early part of the year, sparking fears of a prolonged Zimbabwe's drought. Zimbabwe's land, people are dying of hunger. The drought began nearly a decade ago, and studies suggest it will get worse, not better, as global temperatures continue the to rise. Of drought and desertification are evident in the East African region. Experts point to climate change as the cause of unpredictable weather patterns. The United Nations says Southern Africa is experiencing the worst drought in a century. Venice lived its nightmare. To the city's mayor, who's blaming the disaster on climate change. I climate change issue because the raising of the sea level would totally take out of the game. The worst floods in half a century. The mayor of Venice called declares today a state of emergency, blaming climate change this city could sink. Everybody knows that the world has now entered the climate emergency and extreme events are going to be happening. The value of the damage is expected to be in the billions. The Greenland ice sheet is the second largest body of ice in the world after Antarctica. Rising temperatures driven by climate change mean it's melting. With the Antarctic ice sheet is out of balance by more than three and a half swimming pools per second. But Antarctica's ice is now increasingly being threatened, and most researchers believe it's because of climate change. Scientists worry that as permafrost melts, it could unearth all sorts of diseases we thought we had under control. A deadly monsoon season in much of South Asia. That leaves open to all kinds of possibilities, more flooding and the possibility of uh, landslides and mudslides as well. We have seen an increase in the frequency and severity of heavy rainfall events, and this is largely due to global warming. Paul, the aftermath of mass floods and deadly landslides. For the displaced, there's more rain to come. The two main sources for all of this toxic smog are the heavy reliance on coal and the high and still growing levels of car ownership. In a deadly smog. Suffering from these dangerous levels of smog in recent days. This is what happens when you mix forest fires with heavy pollution. It's being called a toxic haze. Lingering smoke and noxious fumes creating a dangerous cocktail. Of unusually high June temperatures. Record temperatures are making for sweltering conditions. These heat waves are going to keep happening, as we know, and perhaps they'll get worse in the years and decades to come because of climate change. There's growing evidence that climate change is changing the way the jet stream flows. A heat wave from sub-Saharan Africa has spread across large parts of Europe. We're going to begin with this, the wildfires that are raging in California. This home right now is fully involved. Take a look, you can see the fire in the window upstairs. Multiple fires. The wind this morning showing inferno after inferno. Your sense also of what firefighters are going to be battling. This. It's burning out of control near gusting at over 50 miles per hour, pushing the fire forward, those flames jumping a major freeway overnight. California doesn't really have a wildfire season anymore just because climate change has made uh, conditions so extreme. Flames fueling evacuations. So human-caused climate change is pushing these fires further and faster. Chinese health authorities are still working to identify the virus behind a pneumonia outbreak in the central city of Wuhan. They're fighting a war here and they're losing. The sheer numbers of people succumbing to the coronavirus. For two years, scientists have been on high alert for disease X. Population growth and intensive animal farming have created a breeding ground for outbreaks like COVID-19. The first people to be infected with coronaviruses are usually humans who have close contact with animals. A disaster is a tsunami.
Because that world, in case you haven't noticed, is currently on fire. 